What's up, YouTube? It's Mark here from Next Level Tech and Android TV Tips. And I had turned on my Fire Stick today. I wasn't planning on recording a video. Um, I know that there was an update coming and I haven't really been paying attention to it. I've been talking about this update since before Amazon's launch event. So let's check it out real quick. So it says introducing the all new Fire TV experience, the main menu, uh, the new main menu. The main menu lets you easily find new content, play live TV and access your favorite apps. Decide what you want to watch and find. Find is your new destination to search and discover movies, TV programs, apps, free content and more. Personalize the Fire TV with profiles. Now profiles are nothing new, but it says create up to six profiles for personalized recommendations, watch lists, viewing history, and more. Easily set up kid profiles with Amazon kids to provide access to worry-free family-friendly content. So let's click on okay. And let's keep it rolling. All right. So like I've explained this home screen uh, in the past before, you can see that they've taken the menu that used to be at the top of the screen and they've put it kind of in the middle of the screen. So you no longer have those options to scroll through at the top. The options you have here is to choose your profile. You can go to library, um, what's in your watch list, your home. So you can still from under the home menu, find your recently used applications here. Now your main menu for your applications, um, however you choose to order them, is gonna be later on down this row where you see all those broken icons. This was a fire stick that I was working on doing some videos and some testing on. So that's why you see a bunch of broken icons there. Um, so find is where you can search for TV shows, and movies, and it's gonna pull it up through whatever means necessary to find that content for you. Um, live is the same live as you would have seen in the past. Um, obviously you need some kind of subscription or service. All right, now, as always, there's always multiple ways to view all of the apps um, that you have installed on your device. So with this new menu now, or new layout, you can go to the three dots here. You can still hold down your home button on your remote and it comes up with this menu. I do like the changes, the subtle changes in the fonts um, and the color schemes. It just, it does seem a little bit easier to read for me. Um, so you have your apps, you have sleep, you have mirroring, you have your settings. So you can go to a couple different areas here. They've added profiles as well. Profiles wasn't there on the old um, user interface. So if we go to our apps, so if I want to change what's at the top, let's say I want to put Plex at the top, I can move it to front and you can see it moves to the front line there. Um, let's say I want to put Amazon's app store at the front there, then I can go and move and I can move it up there. And there we go. That's there, right? Now, the one thing that a lot of YouTubers have been pointing out um, is that it no longer shows you the app name at the top of the screen when you scroll over now. There's no real way to see what are these applications, um, at least at initial glance. Home button on your remote where you can go all the way to the right and click on settings. Now settings will appear at the bottom of the screen here, which is a little bit different. They're trying to make it a little bit easier to navigate, putting everything kind of in the same area so you don't have to go all over the place trying to find things, right? So here, what we would do is go to our accessibility option and then we're going to go over to text banner and we're going to turn on the text banner and it gives you a little bit of uh, information here. It says text banner tutorial. A banner will be presented at the bottom of the screen displaying information about the currently highlighted items in large high contrast text. To show or hide the banner, long press the play pause. Um, if there is more content than fits in the banner, plus rewind or fast forward to scroll the text. To use standard rewind or fast forward actions, hide the banner first. So for instance, if the banner is up and you want to use it regularly like you'd always would, you would hold down the play pause button, remove the banner, and then you use your rewind and fast forward buttons like you usually do. All right, so it says the banner can be customized from the text banner menu and accessibility settings. Turn the banner on or off. You can, you can hold rewind or fast forward for two seconds. Some apps may not be compatible with the text banner. All right, cool. All right, so I, I've obviously spent some time going over the banner and customizing exactly how I want it to look like. Um, you may not want it to look like this, but I'll go over some of the settings with you. So I have text banners turned on. 
Uh, the font size and color, this is where you can pick what you want, your text size. Um, so you can pick if you want it larger, if you're sitting further back from the TV and you want the text to be really large, then you pick whatever you want. So I'm using a computer monitor, I'm fairly close, so I can pick small and I'm pretty happy with that. Next is gonna be your color. This is gonna be the color for the whole box and the outline. You can pick whatever you like. Uh, I like magenta, so I'm going with magenta. Uh, next is gonna be your background. Now by default, your opacity is gonna be at 100%, and I kind of like the transparency of, um, of zero, so I go with zero. Uh, now, next, you're gonna go down to uh, banner size and timings. Um, so I usually keep this fairly small because I'm just using this for letting me know what the name of the applications are if I need to. So I keep this at around 33%. Um, you can go bigger if you want. You can go the whole screen or whatever you want to do. Um, but I keep it fairly small, so 33% and the height I turn down to 25%. Now you can make these bigger if, you're, if you want. Um, if you notice that the box is showing fairly large, um, you're going to have this option that says keep banner at chosen height and width. If you leave it at on, it's going to kind of take up more real estate than, than what's necessary. So if you turn this off, it automatically adjusts whatever's inside the box. Uh, vertical position, so by default, this is on the bottom. I prefer it to be at the top because um, Amazon has kind of moved everything away from the top of the screen and put it at the middle and the bottom. So there's a lot of room to, to view stuff at the top of the screen, so I prefer it there. Next is going to be your horizontal position, so wherever you want it, if you want it left, right, center, center just makes sense to me. Um, and everything else I kind of just leave the same. So now what we do is if I hit the home button on my remote, you're going to see that it's there. Now to turn this off and on, all we got to do is hold down the play pause button, gone. Right. So if we go over to these applications now and I'm like, what is this? To turn back on the text banner, I just need to hold down the play pause button and it comes back up. Look, that's TV me. Launcher Manager, FX File Explorer, everything's right there. You know what I mean? And to turn it off, hold on the play pause button for a second, it goes away. Simple. Um, so another way um, is that there have been certain fixes in the FL store or the file store um, that you can see if you go in there, some of the applications like uh, TV Mate, the icon has been fixed if you use certain versions of it. So um, we have been trying to work in some of the applications in, um, in the file store um, to fix some of the applications icons, but we can't fix them all. I'm hoping that the developers of the applications are able to start doing them uh, as they release updates to the applications so that they become more compatible with the Fire TV uh, launchers. Um, the other way to do this is actually to, let me get rid of this text banner, is to change the launcher. Now I've done um, two videos about launchers recently um, in regards to Fire TV devices. So I'll leave a, a card in the top right of this video, but for instance, so launcher manager, and then from here, I would disable the stock launcher and then hit home. And you can see I'm using uh, TDUK's Wolf Launcher here. And you can see all the icons are coming up. Now there's a bunch of ways to customize these launchers and I'll probably be making another video about how to customize Wolf Launcher to get it to the way I like it. Um, this is just a test device that I'm using it on right now so that's why you don't see a background, you don't see anything cool. Um, if you watch my previous videos I show how to do widgets but I'm also going to do a video showing how to um, rearrange the applications, um, how to create folders, uh, how to make the icons themselves transparent that they can show off your backgrounds better. But um, these are a couple ways to fix that broken icons when you're side loading your applications onto these devices. One of the other new settings that some of the Fire, the Fire TV devices are getting is um, a new audio syncing um, tuning option or a method. And the way that you find that is going to your display and sound and then going down to audio and then AV sync tuning. Now that's audio and video syncing. You can see that there's a flash, there's the ball that bounces, there's the bar that goes across, and there's a noise. So you wanna make sure that they all happen around the same time. Now, for instance, this looks like it's working fairly good. I can't hear the audio output because I'm using a monitor right now. But if I was to turn this all the way, let's say all the way to the right, right, and then I hit apply, you're gonna see it's not really happening at the same time. So 
to get it right where it needs to be. There you go. That's perfect. But you play around with that with your audio and video setup. I don't know if you're using, you know, um, receivers or sound bars or surround sound or all that kind of good stuff. This is where you would play with all those options to make sure that you're getting the best possible experience out of your Fire TV devices. Um, guys, this has been uh, Mark from Next Level Tech. Um, wishing you guys all the best for the new year. Happy holidays, all that kind of good stuff. If you're looking to take your experience with your uh, tech to the next level, Level, make sure that you follow us on all the social media platforms and especially join the telegram group um, to make sure that you stay up to date with all the latest and the greatest um, make sure that you're also following the podcast because the podcast is going big places uh, so many good things coming so many good things coming for all of you guys i'm excited for all of the new connections all of the new tech and all of the new things that are happening and all the new things that come with a new year so again i'm wishing you guys all the best for 2021 and beyond <laughs> and i'll see you guys on the next one peace hey everybody uh just before we get going i wanted to say a huge thank you much love and appreciation to everyone who supports what i do over here on next level tech make sure you hit that like and that subscribe button and share these videos with a family member and friend